The wood maiden smiled, and no answer she gave, but babe turned him into the shade of the cave. He never had known such a rapturous bliss, no maiden of mortals so sweet. Jean Wynne Farrell sang Velia for us from The Merry Widow. Jimmy Hannon brought down some uh, uh, a clipping of an article that appeared in the Daily Mirror. He was just as horrified, I might add, as I was when I read it. I wonder how many people read this. Cup Week in Melbourne by Ron Saw on Monday, November the 2nd. Just a few little things from it. It is easy to contemplate suicide off Princess Bridge. In fact, on Princess Bridge at high noon on a Sunday, suicide becomes not only a pleasant contemplation, but an inevitable course, a natural extension of Saturday night. I stand on the bridge looking down at the evil, jaundiced waters of the Yarra. A dead dog rolls by, its belly bloated, its legs sticking out like toothpicks in a cocktail sausage. It will never be the tourist city that Sydney is, which is just as well, because Melbourne is just not equipped to handle visitors. Melbourne, for all its braying and bragging, for all its big noting and big thinking, is simply not a big city. It looks small, it feels small. I firmly believe that the Melbourne Cup should be run in Sydney because Melbourne can't handle it. <laughs> in Elizabeth Street I found instead of a... Uh, I was searching for food here. In Elizabeth Street I found instead a building bearing the grim legend Independent Order of Rakabites, the world's largest temperance friendly society. I can think of no more suitable headquarters for such an order. It's a great big article and this is only a piece of it. Uh, I'd like to read it all. Jimmy brought it down and we're grateful to him for doing that. I think he wants to move to Melbourne anyway after reading this. Jim? Jimmy Hannon? Come on there. <laughs> Thought you'd like that. Hey, uh, that's really uh, incited us. Oh, incited them? It should too. It's incited Sydney actually. Um, the uh, disc jock... Truly, um, Sydney... Uh, don't believe in this rivalry anyway. You know, I think it's a figment of somebody's imagination. And um, the um, 
uh, disc jockey up there uh, was was raving on. He said that's mm. the worst piece of journalism he's ever read. It's not the best, is it? It, it isn't very good. It's, is it? it's, it's so biased. It's not. Re it's ridiculous. What is terrifying? Like imagine someone in in Australia sending this overseas, yeah. uh, wrap, uh, wrapping some uh, stuff in it, and they read this and they go, "Oh, let's not go there," you know. Yes. Which is not good, is it, Jim? No. Why don't we? Why don't you come down next week and we'll go into this more fully and read some more bits from it and you tell me what you I'd, think. Oh yes, and I'd like to uh, bring down the pieces where the uh, Sydney people answered it too. Oh, have you got those? All to, yes, oh, yes, thanks, and Jim. so it's all to the credit too. They, um, they really got into him and said that uh, obviously he's been sniffing his vodka pure or something like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and if you know Ron Saw, this probably is true. You know? Well, Ron Saw did a, an article on me oh, years ago and he, he wasn't as unkindly as that. He no, he's, he's turned into a... But he's told what to do. He has yeah. to do a job, I suppose. But that's really nasty, isn't it? Yes. I wish oh, I well, could. then we come down and do it. Why don't we come down next week we'll and we, we, we'll chat Tear about him up. We would have chatted about it tonight, but it's 11 o'clock. Oh, bring Ron Saw with me. What bring, about that? Bring Ron Saw and a case of tomatoes and we'll let him... <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. We really will. Okay. See you next week. What okay. night? Do you know yet? Any time you Any time or we'll yes. give you a ring. Okay, good. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. in Melbourne tonight and it's after 11 o'clock my dear friends.